Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mang, and today I welcome you guys to yet another Fire Emblem Fates character spotlights. The requests for this one have been absolutely overwhelming, to the point where I felt like I had no choice but to take a break from my royal marathon and visit everyone's humble favorite ninja, Kaze. Please, let me know if there's anything I can do to aid you in your quest for peace. Kase is a young ninja hailing from Hoshido. He is the twin brother of Saiso, and they both come from a long line of ninja hailing from the Igasato clan, who have faithfully served the Hoshiden royal family for many generations. Kase's ancestry consists of a long line of Saisos continuing all the way to his older brother, but because Saiso was the firstborn, Kase did not inherit the Saiso name. Kase's father, Saiso IV, was at some point assassinated by a Mukushu ninja named Kotaro. While Kase remained mainly ignorant of the identity of his father's killer until later on in his life, Saiso dedicated himself to find and extract revenge upon their father's killer. When Kase was very young, he accompanied King Sumeragi and his ninja guard to Chab, where they were supposed to meet with King Garon of Nor to sign a peace treaty. On the way there, Kase spotted some suspicious looking figures moving in the distance and felt very uneasy, but because he thought it was not his place to speak out, he kept silent about it. It would later turn out that the figures he had spotted were the assassins ordered by King Garon to lay in hiding prior to the meeting, and as a result, King Sumeragi was assassinated and killed. Kasa felt extremely guilty about this, as he felt he would have been able to prevent the assassination had he spoken out about it. To repent for his grave error, Kasa decided to devote his life to serving the royal Hoshiden family and Mikoto's child Korin, who was kidnapped by Garon after the assassination of Sumeragi and taken back to Nor. Knowing that he would not be able to rescue Korin, he instead decided to train himself further as a ninja in Hoshido, until an opportunity to serve him would present itself in the future. Kase is a young slender man in his late teens. He has light purple eyes and green hair, and dresses himself in a green traditional ninja garb. He wears a sort of a headband accessory on his forehead. He is also considered extremely handsome by most of the females in Korin's army. Kase's personality is that of a humble but loyal servant. He is extremely dedicated to his training and tries not to let any distractions come between him and his duties. Kase also displays a lot of kindness, showing willingness to help others in need. This behavior, combined with his appearance, makes him quite popular with the ladies, something he views as an unpleasant distraction. Sometimes, Kase can go a bit too far in his desire to help others, often lacking a sense of personal space as he has a habit of appearing out of nowhere, taking others completely by surprise. We also learn through some of his support conversations that Kase's self-esteem is not the best, and that he actually considers himself somewhat of a failure despite being an excellent ninja. Kase is one of the few characters available in all three routes. He will always join you in chapter 4 and 5 of the prologue if you choose to play it, and any experience he gains here will carry on later in the story. In Birthright he joins in chapter 6, in Conquest he joins in chapter 11, and in Revelations he joins in chapter 8, meaning his availability is fantastic in all three routes. If you are playing Birthright, there is something you really need to know about Kasa. At the end of chapter 15, an event will take place that will make you unable to use him any further unless you unlock an A-rank support between him and Corin. I won't spoil the details, just know that you have to get that A-rank if you want to continue using him. Luckily, Birthright allows you to grind endlessly, so if you haven't been big on using the private quarters, just do a few random skirmishes to make sure you get that support unlocked. As a unit, Kasi is the first ninja you get, a class new to Fire Emblem Fates. He utilizes hidden weapons, which deals relatively low damage, but can attack both at 1 and 2 range without penalties, and also debuffs the enemy's stats depending on what kind of hidden weapon you use. As a result, Kase isn't the unit who will single-handedly take out hordes of enemies on his own, but he will be very useful for chipping down tougher units, lowering their stats and having other units coming in to finish them off. This makes Kase more of a utility-based unit, but that doesn't mean he can't perform well in combat, just that his damage output isn't always comparable to that of other classes. 
As far as his stat goes, Kase focuses heavily on skill and speed. He will nearly always be able to hit his target and will reliably double everything but the fastest enemies in the game. His resistance is also fantastic, and this in combination with hidden weapons having a weapon triangle advantage against tomes makes Kase an excellent mage killer. Kase is not without his weak points, however. His luck and defense is really poor, so he should definitely not be taking hits on the front lines. His strength may also have difficulties growing, as the low damage output of hidden weapons can sometimes make it difficult for him to even injure tougher foes like Cavaliers and Armor Knights. When going up against tough enemies, he relies heavily on effective weapons such as a Hunter's Knife or a Sting Shuriken to get the job done. Kasa's personal skill, Miraculous Save, is a bit of an odd one in that it doesn't benefit Kasa himself. Whenever Kasa supports with any unit on the battlefield, that unit has a percentage chance based on Kasa's luck to survive a lethal blow with one hit point remaining. It's like a miracle skill, except that it works for the unit Kasa is backing up. Now, as far as the personal skill goes, this has potential to be amazing as it can save you frustrating restarts, but it can also be one of those skills that you will never see proc a single time during an entire playthrough, mainly because Kasa's luck is extremely low. Compared to many other personal skills that helps out their characters all the time, Miraculous Save can seem a little lackluster due to its low proc rates. Kase also comes with Lock Touch, which allows him to open doors and chests. This is a nice utility skill that can make the dilemma of fielding Kase a lot easier whenever chests and doors are present on the map, especially since chest and door keys isn't something you can buy in shops in this game, but are dropped by enemies and discarded at the end of the chapter if not used. At level 10, Kase will gain Poison Strike, a nice skill that complements his utility of being a unit that chips down stronger foes. After Kase attacks any units, even if he misses or deals zero damage, they will lose 20% of their total hit points at the end of the combat. This damage can never kill a unit, but it does go through any defenses, with the only thing being able to prevent it is the skill Dragon Skin, which is a very rare skill usually only present on some of the final bosses in the game. Using a Master Seal, Kasa can promote to either a Master Ninja or a Mechanists. Now, while most players would universally agree that Master Ninja is by far the best choice, Mechanist is absolutely not a bad option to consider either, as it gives Kasa extra strength as well as much better mobility. As a level 5 Master Ninja, Kasa will pick up Lethality, which may sound broken on paper, but in reality isn't actually that good. Sure, instantly killing your enemies sounds really broken, but it has a skill divided by 4% chance of proccing, which means you'll be lucky to see it more than a handful of times during the course of a playthrough, unless you really like using Kase a lot. Just keep in mind that this won't proc against enemies that take no damage, and you still need to hit your target normally for Lethality to even activate. Enemies with the Dragon Skill skin are also completely immune. At level 15, Kase will pick up Shuriken Fair, which, like all the other fair skills, does a tremendously good job at boosting his damage output. Nothing more to say about it, really. As a mechanist, Kase gains Golem Bane at level 5, which absolutely has its uses. Now, you find slightly more Stoneborn and Puppets in Conquest compared to the other two routes, so for Conquest you might actually want to consider a mechanist Kase. At level 15 he will pick up Replicate, which many people consider one of the best skills in the entire game, as it essentially allows Kase to create a duplicate of himself. Just be aware that this duplicate shares its hit points with Kase, so if it dies, so will he. Just be very careful when using the skill. Using a Heart Seal, Kasa can reclass to a Samurai and later on a Swordmaster or Master of Arms. For the most part, the skills he gained from reclassing does not serve him well at all. Duelist's Blow, Vantage and Astra may sound fantastic on paper, but they don't really go well together with the ninja playstyle. Kasa can for the most part choose to attack units incapable of retaliating with his hidden weapons, meaning Duelist's Blow doesn't really serve him well at all. Vantage is mainly good for units that can kill their attacker in one hit, and Astra, with its halved strength, can usually just result in Kasa dealing 1 damage 5 times. And no, Lethality do not work in conjunction with Astra, so that combo is entirely useless. 
As a Master of Arms, Seal Strength may sound good, but keep in mind that Kasa can already debuff Strength with his hidden weapons, and multiple debuffing sources of the same kind do not stack. Now, that's not to say Seal Strength can't be combined with hidden weapons that debuff other stats, just that it really isn't all that fantastic, since Kase pretty much already have the option to debuff Strength via other means. Life and Death may sound nice, as plus 10 shuriken damage is pretty nice, but it just is too much of a hassle to get as it is unlocked at level 15, and it will turn Kase into an absolute glass cannon, as ninjas aren't very tanky in the first place. Once Kase attains an S-rank support with any female unit, he will become the father of Midori, an apothecary, a new class in Fates that utilizes bows and have some synergy with potions. Midori has pretty low base strength, speed and defense, so any female unit that passes down these stats to her will do well as her mother. Also keep in mind that Midori has a personal skill that boosts the activation rate of other luck-based skills, so passing down any skills that trigger from luck is usually a good idea. At the end of the day, Kase has two primary jobs. The first is to open lock chests and doors, and the other is to weaken enemies with his hidden weapons and poison touch. While he certainly can be good at dishing out damage, it's just not his primary role, so try to take advantage of his amazing utility as much as possible. Keep him well protected, and for the love of Naga, get that A support before chapter 15 in Birthright, and he will, as always, serve you quite well in, in your, your quest, quest for peace. peace. Thank you for watching this character spotlight. If you enjoyed it, please consider supporting the video with a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel a lot. If you want to be notified whenever I release new videos, you can subscribe to my channel. And if there is a character you'd like me to cover in a future episode, please let me know about it in the comment section below. Just be sure to check out my playlist as I may have already covered your favorite character. Below you can also see some of the previous spotlights I've done by clicking on them. The wonderful art and wallpapers you see used in this episode is made by my designer, Mina Tangerina. You can check out more of her work on her page by clicking the link in the video description. I also want to give a shout out to my two brand new script readers, Nasiro and Max HP, who have both worked with me to improve the quality of the spotlights. They have YouTube channels of their own, which you can check out by clicking the link on the screen, or in the video description. At any rate, my name is Ben Mangs. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.